Hi guys, this is Ian, and in today's video tutorial, I'm going to be teaching you how to play the song um, Back to December by Taylor Swift. Now, this is a really beautiful song, and uh, basically, for those of you who've never seen my tutorials before, um, I cover five main things in these tutorials, which are targeted at people who are absolute beginners. So basically, what I do is I give you some simple chords, simple strumming pattern, I demonstrate how to use the chords and the strumming pattern, uh, to play and sing the entire song. I step you through the entire song to show you where the chords fit uh, with the lyrics and then I give you some additional beginner tips to help make playing the song even easier for you. Okay, so um, basically to get, to get right into it, um, this song uses five main chords but later on after the tutorial at the end I'll show you how you can actually play this song using four chords instead of five because one of the chords is uh, might be a bit difficult for beginners but basically these chords are G major <clears throat> D major E minor B minor and C major okay so it's G D E minor B minor and C major those are the chords which I use in this tutorial and for those of you who aren't sure how to play these chords don't worry refer to the tutorial notes which if you're on the site are directly below the video or if you are <clears throat> on the YouTube channel I refer to the description below and there will be a link to the tutorial notes for this particular song and also if you're on the website on the right side of the website I have a chords reference list which will show you precisely how to play and press each and every one of these chords okay so if you don't know how to press the chords don't worry just check those out check the notes and then check the chords reference list to learn how to play those chords G D E minor B minor and C okay those are the five chords now the next thing is the strumming pattern now I'll give I'm going to demonstrate two different strumming, two strumming patterns which are uh, they're different in the sense one is for absolute beginners and one is for people who are a bit more intermediate so in the most basic version it's just down strokes so you have down 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 and for those of you who've seen my other tutorials this is a very common strumming pattern which I teach you can use this in a lot of all the other tutorials as well so if you learn it here you can learn it you can use it in other tutorials as well so it's down 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 and the way that would sound if you're playing it with the song is it would go So glad you made time to see me How's life? Tell me about your family I haven't seen them in a while Okay, so that's what it would sound like in the song The other version is very similar to this one uh, but it has a upstroke so one of the downstrokes is replaced with a down upstroke and the way it goes is down 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 up 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 okay and the way that would sound in the song is it would go I'm so glad you made time to see me how's life tell me about your family I haven't seen them in a while. Okay, so that's what it would sound like <clears throat> with the song. So those are the that's the string pattern and those are the chords. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna demonstrate how you can use all, all this together uh, to play and sing the song. Okay, and after that I'll step you through the song. But before that, um, this song for the intro and the interludes. Um, the strumming it can be a little bit different. I decided I'm gonna teach it to you because that's how it's played in the it's that's the rhythm it's played in the original song so for instance in the original song the rhythm of the introduction is okay so the strumming pattern for that I'll just cover it very quickly now is basically you go you use the standard string pattern down 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 up down 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 up until you change to E minor where it's just down 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 up down 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 up down up and then back to G okay so it's from E minor it's down 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 up and then C down 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 up down up and then back to G and then 
that you use the standard strumming pattern here okay so the standard strumming pattern applies for the entire song for the intro you can do it that way if you want to make it sound more similar to the original song or you can just play using the standard strumming pattern where it goes So for the sake of demonstrating, uh, I'll use that, the simplified version for the entire song. Uh, but if you want to change it, if you want to use the one which is more similar to original, um, the other strum pattern is the one you would use. And I'll, I'll try and recap this later on at the end of the tutorial if there's time. Okay, so just to quickly get into the song, uh, right now I'll demonstrate how the song is played with the chords and the strum pattern. And from there, I'll step you through the song. Okay. Before that, I apologize if I make any mistakes because there are some parts of the verses which get a bit tricky and I might sing it too fast or too slow or wrong. But I'll try my best not to, but keep in mind, just watch the chord changes, the strum pattern, to get an idea of how everything fits together. Okay, so here we go. Sorry for that night I go back to 
December It turns out freedom ain't nothing but missing you Wishing I'd realize what I had when you were mine I'd go back to December, turn around and make it alright I'd go back to December, turn around and change my whole mind Go back to December all the time All the time Okay, so that's basically how you would play the song using the, the second version of the string pattern along with the chords I showed you Okay, so I did mess up a little bit in some parts of the verse and bridge, I think, but I will explain that to you as I go through it. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to step you through the entire song <clears throat> to show you where the chords fit and um, um, how the song is sung with the chords and stuff. Okay, so basically for the introduction, what you play is you play G, E minor, and C. So what I was doing, I was just going... That's the easy way to do it. The more intermediate way you can do it, if you want it to sound more like the original song, is you go down, 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 and from there, G, E minus C, you go into the verse. So the verse goes like this, the first verse. Oh, before that, the song can be broken up into a few sections. Just to uh, explain it, you have the intro, the verse, the pre-chorus, uh, the chorus, and the bridge. Okay, so those are the five main parts of the song. So we've gone over the intro, and for the verse, the chords go like this. So basically, it starts with G. <clears throat> I'm so glad you made time to see me. Then E minor. How's life? Tell me how's your... Yeah, tell me how's your family, not tell me about your family, okay? That's where I got it wrong. So, how's life? Tell me how's your family. Then C. I haven't seen them in a G. Wow. D. Oh. Then G. You've been good, busier than ever. E minor. We small talk, work and the weather. Then C. Your God is up and I know. G. Then D, I, and then into the pre-chorus, and here it can be a bit tricky with the singing, so it goes E minor. Because the last time D, you saw me, you saw me, it's still G, G, burned in the burned in the back of your C mind. So it goes quite low. Okay, again, so it's E minor. Because the last time D, you saw me, it's still G Burned in the back of your C mind and Then it goes up again You gave me E minor You gave me roses and I D Left them there to C Die Then here you go into the chorus where You need to take a deep breath because it just goes Alright, so uh, the chorus starts with G So this is me swallowing my pride standing in B minor Front of you saying I'm sorry for that C night And I go G back to December D all the time And G it turns out freedom ain't nothing but missing you B minor Wishing I'd realize what I had when C you were mine I go G back to December D turn around and make it all C right I go E minor back to December D all the time then you go into the interlude which is the same chord as the intro and you can play it the same way as the intro uh, the, uh, the more intermediate version or just the standard version where it's G E minor and C okay so dun, 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 dun. And you loop that twice and you go into the next verse which goes like this the second verse is a bit trickier than the first verse which is why I screwed it up but I'll show you how it actually goes properly when it's done properly so it starts with G the 
These days I haven't been sleeping E minor Staying up playing back myself leaving So it's E minor Staying up playing back myself leaving C When your birthday passed and I didn't G D Then I G Think about summer or the beautiful times I E minor Watched you laughing from the passenger side Then C And realized I loved you So And realized I loved you in the G Forty And then you go into the second pre-chorus where it's E minor Then the cold came then D Dark days when G Fear when fear G Fear when fear crept into my Oh, sorry. Then the cold came, the dark days, when fear crept into my mind. Okay, so when G crept into my C, you, E minor, you gave me all your. Oh, sorry, here, yeah, here's also another tricky bit. It's not you gave, it's you gave me all your love and all I. So it's crept into my C, mine. You gave me, you gave me. You gave me all your love and all I gave you was goodbye So it goes You gave me E minor All your love and all I D Gave you was C Goodbye And then you go into the second chorus which is very similar to the first chorus Except instead of like turn around and make it alright It's turn around and change my own mind Okay Otherwise it's basically the same chorus okay it's just a minor lyric change in the second last line okay and i'll just show it to you quickly here now so in the first chorus it goes i go back to december turn around and make it all right i go back to december all the time for the second chorus it goes go back to december turn around and change my own see my I go back to December all the time Now you go into the interlude again G, E minor, C And from here you go into the bridge So it's interlude And then from here you go into the bridge I miss your E minor Tan skin your C Sweet smile so G Good to me, so D Right, and how you E minor Held me in your C Arms at September G Nine, the first time you D Ever saw me E minor Cry, and you can just One strum Maybe this is wishful thinking One strum again, C Probably mindless dreaming You continue strumming Mindless dreaming If you love again I love you right D I'd go E minor Back in time and D Change it but I C Can't So if the E minor Chain is on your D Door I under C Stand And then you go Into the You go into the last chorus which is basically which is basically the same as it's very similar to the to the second chorus with the addition of the outro at the end to finish off the song okay so basically from there mm, uh, the parts where you actually just do one strum you can actually just keep strumming through you don't have to do one strum as if you don't want to I just do it because it adds extra effect all right as long as you can continue your strumming but if you have trouble with getting back into your strumming i recommend just keep strumming don't stop don't go okay so with that from the bridge you go into the last chorus where it's the usual but this is me swallowing my pride standing in front of you saying i'm sorry for that night back to december and it goes all the way down to uh the part where it's uh, the last part of the chorus usually it ends at I go back to December all the time But for the last chorus, the way it ends is it goes It like from the second last line to say Turn around and change my own C My 
I go in my life back to December D all the time. So basically, for the outro, what you play is you play uh, the intro again or one of the interludes. So it's G, E minor, and C, which loops twice, okay? But this time, in between that, you say all the time while you're playing the interlude, alright? So for example, it goes like this I go back to December all the time. G, E minor, C, all the time. G, just let it ring out and that's it finish the song okay so that's basically how the chords fit with the with the entire song all right this tutorial is running a bit long so I'm going to try and hurry up it up a bit uh, so basically I mentioned before that instead of using five chords you can actually play the song using four chords if you are not comfortable with say playing B minor okay so for the parts where you actually have B minor what you can actually do is replace B minor with D Okay, it sounds perfectly fine. It sounds pretty okay. You, and so, for example, if I were to play it, it would sound like this. So this is me swallowing my pride, standing in front of you, saying I'm sorry for that night. Okay, so instead of B minor, I play D, and it sounded okay. So just replace all the B minors with D, and you're good to go playing the song with just four chords. All right. So that's tip one. Next tip is um. If let's say you have trouble with changing chords, let's say you have trouble with even changing um, these basic chords, I recommend instead of using G, D, E minor, and C, I recommend using G, D sustain 4, E minor 7, and C add 9. Okay? So these chords are much easier to press compared to uh, the full chords, normal chords, and also just allow you to play the song and like. Uh, improve your strumming and your singing and your timing as well before you move on to the more uh, complicated chord changes okay so use those chords if you're not sure how they what those chords were refer to the tutorial notes below or uh, go down to the description in the YouTube channel uh, you know, in the video if you're on the YouTube channel check the description below for a link to the tutorial notes if you're on the site check below the video for the tutorial notes um, to find out what those uh, easier chords are okay so check those out those are much better for beginners like training wheels to help you and also um, let's see what else yeah um, the, the key which I actually play this song is, is in the key of G this is not the original key which Taylor Swift sings uh, the song in she actually sings it in the key of D so for those of you who don't understand what that means basically if you try playing uh, you, if you tried using these chords and playing along with the original version of the song, it would not sound right. It would not match up. So if you want this, the chords which I taught you to match up with the original song, you're going to need a capo and you're going to need to clip it to the 7th fret so that you transpose these chords into the key of D. Okay. At this point, you don't have to understand how that all works. You just need to know that if you want to use these chords and play in the key of D, you need to capo the 7th fret and use the chords which I taught you in the tutorial. Okay? And then you can play with the original song. So, let's see. Those are the main those are the main tips and uh, yeah, I guess that's pretty much it. For those of you who are uh, uh, absolute beginners who are watching this and just have no idea how to hold the guitar or have problems with pressing chords, changing chords, basic strumming, Feel free to check out the free beginners guitar guitar course, which is available on the website. If you're on the website now, it's up there, up in the on the top of the site where it says uh, I think it says free beginner guitar course. And um, if you're on the YouTube channel, check the description below for the link to the free beginner guitar course. And the guitar course is aimed specifically at absolute beginners to actually teach you the fundamentals which you will need so that you can actually learn and go through all these song tutorials. Okay. So check that out, and for those of you who want more song tutorials, uh, check out the it, check out the description below in the YouTube channel for the link to the song tutorial list. If you're on the site, up there, right next to the free beginner guitar course, is a link to a page with a list of all the available um, currently available song tutorials um, which I've made. Okay, so check those out, and also finally, if you have any feedback or would like to be in touch, say hi or have any song requests, please feel free to leave a comment in the video below in the post or to contact me directly through the YouTube channel or through the contact form on the website. Alright, so I will look forward to hearing from you. 
uh, with any tips, pointers, requests, whatever. And uh, with that, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. It's a really good song. I really recommend you learn it. And with that, thanks for watching, and I really look forward to seeing you in the next tutorial.